Here's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Montana Ag Network. And welcome back to our Farm and Ranch News. Today we see as the nation's farmers continue to experience historically low grain prices, Montana producers will also experience a rate hike in rail transportation to get their product to market. Recently, the Montana Farmers Union traveled to Washington, D.C. to share their concerns with the Surface Transportation Board. And one of the primary reasons we went back was the simple fact we're talking about uh, captive shippers and with Burlington Northern being the only rail across the um, northern part of Montana, it costs about 3400 and some odd dollars for a grain car to take our grain to the port in, in Washington. North and South Dakota also will see rate hikes, but their rates are around $350 cheaper per train than the rates in Montana. Interesting in the simple fact that both North Dakota and South Dakota are further from the ports than is Montana. With BNSF accounting for 94% of the state's rail traffic, Farmers Union is pleased that the Surface Transportation Board is looking into the issue. One of the things that the board is asking for are some rate uh, data from the railroads. They will be getting that information by the end of May, at which point they will then be looking at it, thinking about how do you deal with states such as Montana, where you are a captive shipper. Rail transportation is a critical part in moving commodities, but Christian says more competition would benefit Montana farmers. I doubt that there's ever going to be a real opportunity to have competition along that line that Burlington Northern does. But, you know, even if um, the Canadian Pacific could come down at some part, when you've got competition, generally you can get some better rates. Whether that will happen, but I think it'll also be interesting to find out what the rates will show when they're all compiled by the STB uh, at the end of May of this year. BNSF is the largest railroad operator in Montana, accounting for 94% of the state's rail traffic. For more on the Montana Farmers Union, visit them online as well. Don't go away, we'll have more news coming up next. Returning back today, President Donald Trump is threatening tariffs against the European Union if the EU doesn't bring agriculture to the trade negotiation table. Trump has threatened tariffs on European cars and auto part imports, a move the EU has previously said it would abandon the talks over. The EU agreed to move forward with trade talks earlier this week, but reiterated that agriculture will not be part of the negotiation. The refusal to include agriculture makes any deal with the EU uncertain, as lawmakers from farm states have threatened the potential agreement would not pass Congress. Agriculture groups are urging the Trump administration to demand agriculture be included in the negotiation, citing biotechnology and pesticide regulations, the European Union, among other issues in the talks, if they do occur. If Trump goes ahead with the auto tariffs, the EU seems likely to retaliate with tariffs on U.S. wine and dairy. That will do it for today's farm and ranch news. Have a great day everyone.